Hello again, my crafty friends. Rebecca here, and welcome to Stash Stash Saturday. And I know I lied to you guys because I said I was not using this kit again, but we're gonna go for one more layout because I just felt I felt like it'd be wrong to not do it. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna love it. That's what we're going to do. So, as you know, I do Stash Smash Saturday with my good friend Jackie, who is JQ Crafty here on YouTube. And we use the same kit or collection until it is killed. And by our definition of killed, no more 12 by 12 pieces of pattern paper or not enough embellishments to create a layout. So, I have been going back and forth. I've been using this for quite some time. I'm not a big fan of what's left on the embellishments. There are a few things that I can use. Um, a lot of the stuff I'm just not going to, I'm not even going to try to force myself to do it. And I do have one, literally one piece of the pattern paper left, which means we are going to go ahead and toss this. So that's gone, but actually a lot, I'm not going to toss it. Um, I actually, so what I, what I use this for you guys, but since it's a nice one, I will put all of my, um, I put all of my cut files and stuff in there. So this one has a fallen apart. So we're just going to do this. That's like a really big 12 by 12 file folder. Yes, I know. Crazy, but it's true. So that's all done. We have, so next week we will have a new, um, collection to play with, which is fun. Did you also know that in the month of each month, we switch it up and give each other seven items to use. We have to get at least five things on the layout because just trying to focus on using up what we have. Flies are good enough for me and Jackie. So I have to do a scrap lift, which is fun because it's my scrap lift. You just took it easy on me. A dimensional title. See what I can get out of these little suckers. No florals. Um, four random dies that have nothing to do with the collection. So we will just pull those. Um, this randomness that I have here and the photo we're going to do is this one because it's funny and I'm just getting them all done. Um, I also have to get pins or clips, washi and triangles, which is fun because we're going to also do a may I scrap lift you city scrapper. Um, she is on Mixed Media Mayhem and a wonderful, wonderful designer. So she's got triangles and all kinds of fun stuff on there. So that's going to knock out triangles. So we've got our triangle die that I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut the photo in a circle. I have this amount of the embellishments left. There's our photo. And this layout is fabulous. We've got triangles, like making a little flower, some mixed media going on behind it. Probably not going to do the mixed media, but you never know with me, right? I might end up actually fun fact. I think I'm going to actually cut out of this one and just pull in a piece of cardstock. So this is White Daisy from Coolos and Land. Um, white card stock for scrapbooking. Really good thickness. So we're going to cut the bigger triangles. So we need, I'm just going to make a whole bunch. I'm going to try to get all the big ones out of that. Or am I? Or am I? Or am I? So no. Changing my mind. Instead of using the green, I'm just going to use the white side. I know some of you are going, what? But I had like a lot of this collection, so I'm sure that got used at some other point. There's our title. I do still have all of these left that I can cut out of. Get my triangles cut out of right. Um, just a few things on the sticker sheet. Totally fine. But it's also mad about paper pads. 
my lovely friend Moira does. So I've got this vellum one here that I think I'm going to use and all the different patterns to make those big triangles all the way around and then I'll do the colorful ones in the little triangles and we'll just see what we end up with, right? So what do we want to do? Do we want to do some mixed media? Why not like dangerously kids? That's what I say. Let's find a stencil. Oh, I've got my stencils. I just have them in an accordion. So we're going to flick through these a real quick like. I found one right here that's going to work. <laughs> it's really not supposed to be blue. That is a you know what I'm trying to say? So, let's see. <laughs> I do know. Really pretty. I can find it. I think. Work at Heidi Swap Color Shine in a Raspberry. Because my shirt is kind of raspberry y. And we're just going to do this on the back, right? Because why not? And I'm just going to get that stuck on there. I'm going to grab my messy box and I'm going to spray a crazy amount in the middle. And we'll just pray. We'll just pray that it works. It's kind of weak I'm having. It's not going good. So it'll be okay though. Basically, if it can go wrong, it's going wrong. This probably won't even spray. Make a liar out of me every time. Okay, so we got the nice little circle going on. Well, going to be mostly covered. I'm going to do some splatters. That's too good. That's like too perfect. And I don't really want to waste the mixed media. look like on black. This is black. Close to my heart card stock. Oh, kind of fun. Should be able to see that. I think we can keep pulling prints up. Okay, this is going to be crazy, but I'm going for it. This is probably going to be stained this color. Oh, 
Look at that. That's cool. All right. I'm going to clean all this mess up and I'll be right back. So it's dry. I went ahead and created my little floral embellishment. It's very busy. You can actually see it in person. The camera, it's losing a little bit. I used my Spiegel Mom scraps, a big mama foam tape to pop the whole thing up. I do have my four random dies. I actually think I have five on here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. So that is successful. Right away, I did the scrap lift of the lovely city scrapper. Pull that back up on the phone. So we've got that there. Dimensional title, we've got photo op on there. It's popped up because it's foam. I have flowers on there. So I, that one I didn't do. That's four random dies. I do have a paper clip right here. No washi and triangles. So that is secure. Um, I used everything off that was left on the sticker sheet. I This is all of the paper that I have left. So I used all of this 6x6 six six paper pad. So killed it for the Mad About paper mini paper pads series. And that's all of the scraps that I have left. I am recycling all of that. I'll hold on to these letters, see if I can make anything else out of it. But I believe I'm out of balls completely. Yes, I used them all up. I had three O's left. <laughs> oh, nope, I got a couple U's. So we might be able to do something with that road. Here are all the die cuts that I have. I'm going to go through this, what I don't want, recycle. I'm going to keep the butterflies and some of the other things. Um, speaking of the butterflies, I did get those on here. So as you see, she's got some butterflies fluttering around. So I got those on here and I'm going to create my cute butterfly trails, tails. So I'm just going to dot that up. I'm going right on top of the photo because I like to live dangerously. Spreading them around. A lot of contrasting colors on this layout. All right. And I'm looking for something. I don't know what I'm looking for. On a little of this blue and just a little bit of animal dotting. You guys in there? more set just for some more fun and dimension <laughs> so I have killed the kit off next week you will see a new kit for stash smash Saturday and I've got another day with the group may I scrap lift you and I killed off a mini paper pad. So don't forget to check everyone else out that's playing along with all the series and Jackie who will be listed down below, down below for Stash Mary Saturday. And that's it you guys. I will see you later with another video. Um, don't, don't forget to do all the fun YouTube things and bye.